I've got a nice sort of automotive type job here. This is a drive shaft from a Peugeot car. I think a lot of driving crossing the car. And what he wants is this drive shaft making 25mm longer or an inch longer. 25mm doesn't see much, but it will make a big difference to whatever application he's going to put it to. This is decent material. I'm going to mount it in the, the lathe and our machine is sent it down to a, a clean diameter. Then I can make a sleeve and bore the sleeve to suit. Obviously cut this in half and then weld it. Um, I'll not just do a simple ring weld, I'll machine slots in so it gets a, a bigger service area. I've done these before um, with varying degrees of success. So that's the, yeah, the work straight away or the, or the snap depend on that material. I've got some better rods, I've got some rods for welding to similar metals. So we'll give it a go with that. Yeah, the first thing is to clean a section up in the centre and then cut it and weld it. Should grip on the, the splines in that collar chuck all right and it's already got a centre mark in the back for a put a live centre in I clean this up and then obviously I'm going to grip it closer so I can part it off. Certainly appears to be running nice and true. Maybe we can cut this in half now and then make a sleeve for it. It is a uh, very tough material. nasty stuff does not like it that's proper material I think I'll be going down the bound saw route with this bit to dig in that doesn't like it at all the tip's surviving but it doesn't like it no. the bandsaw wouldn't mark this but the uh, 
the slit and disc certainly did. I'm just going to clean the edges up a little bit. Actually pushing that tool out the way. I think it's got a hard skin on the outside. It's not really pleasant at all that. Can't mark it. That answers the question that is absolutely glass hard. This piece of steel may look like nothing special. I was given it by a lad for the last two drive shafts I shortened and this did the job for them, no problem at all. I don't know what it is but it machines quite nicely. Normally these are the machine and shaft down to fit the hole, but this stuff's had hard. I'm just going to put a boring bar through there and get it to size. out of size now. The idea is to heat this up and actually shrink it onto the onto the drive shaft. I'm gonna put it through here on the same setting. That hole is just under two tenths of a mil. Smaller than that shaft, I reckon that'll go under there. A 
if I heat this sleeve up, those shafts will definitely go in there and get quite a tight hole. Instead of just simply welding around the end like that, what I'm going to do, or what I normally do, is I put a slot in, something like that, and something like that, which means you get a weld area in there, and a weld area around there. So this part of the shaft here hasn't had the full welding heat on it, and you've also got a lot more area to weld all the way around there, and all the way around there, instead of just the, the one ring around the end. It's the way I've done them in the past and it works. So what we'll do, we'll drill two holes in there. Then I'll just simply slot that out with a probably an angle grinder. And then dress it up, shrink it together, put it in the lathe, I'll tack weld it together in the lathe between centres. Then hopefully when we weld it, it shouldn't pull too much. And I will be able to straighten it anyway, so first thing to do is to drill two holes in there right through. It's set up ready to drill. I've got two bits of spring packing material underneath there just so when the drill breaks so it doesn't put a horrible gouge in my vase. What we'll try and do is get the drill run square on the chuck. It's better. That's that carbide drill. It's Making really sharp work of this. Right, we went twenty two mil from that say, so it's twenty two mil. There. We need to have a set of those drills. You see, when you go to the packing pieces, it's put a mark on there, but it hasn't damaged me, my face, which is quite important to me. Right, they're pushed in there together. The space on the middle is 10 mil. I don't know where I got a 25 mil bit from. The shot's 10 mil longer than it was. It's obviously all he needs. It's running reasonably true, so what we're going to do is tack it up in here and then keep turning it and make sure it's still nice and true. You can weld in the lathe as long as you make sure your earth is on the shaft, not the lathe. Obviously, you don't want amperage going through your, your lathe bearings. As long as the earth's on there, it'll not be a problem. I've done it plenty of times before. The rods I'm going to use are designed specifically for welding dissimilar metals because I've got no idea what any of this lot is. Just stain this base rod. It's within 5,000 nothing on the car drive shot. We'll put some more weld on and check it again.
the, it's still within bags now, certainly near enough for a car drive shaft. It's still hot, I'll let it cool down and recheck in the morning. Hopefully, it'll not pull too much. In hindsight, I should have made it a longer spacer, it would have made the job better, but it's done for him anyway. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that have been coming in towards my wife and me, Dad. Anyway, thanks for watching.